Thank you, Mr. Dartmouth. You have one and a half minutes. Uh, thank you, Chair. German car manufacturers exported cars to the United States to the value of over $20 billion in 2017. In 2015, it was over $26 billion. And this is notwithstanding that German car manufacturers have little or no input in the formulation of US regulations. Nonetheless, they still export very successfully. But let me come to the key point. But US tariffs on imported cars are 2.5%. EU tariffs, by comparison, on, you, on cars exported from the, U, from the United States are 10%. It is asymmetric. The, the American administration has got a point, whatever colleagues may say. And in consequence, US exports of cars to EU are a tiny fraction. They're only $48 million versus $20 billion. Now to the resolution. The resolution criticizes the US for withdrawing from the uh, Paris Agreement. But Mr. Jadot, you cannot have the government that you want in someone else's country. Indeed, you can't always have the government that you want in your own country. I certainly know that now and have done for some years. Uh, what, we're looking, the, um, the, um, what we're looking at here is, you can say, um, is the politicization of trade and the, the politicized paraphernalia in this resolution shows how difficult and tricky it is for the EU to finalize trade agreements. And that is the penalty that the people of the EU member states pay for the politicization of trade, which is aided and abetted by so many colleagues and something I regret and deplore. Herr Dartmouth. Mr. Dartmouth. Herr Dartmouth. Uh, Herr Jean there's a request for a blue card. If, can I grant that, Mr. Shadow? Cher collègue. Dear colleague, I haven't quite grasped whether you are persuaded of um, climate change or not. I haven't quite grasped whether the United Kingdom, which is a major country in the international community, still believed in the universal values of that community. Nor have I yet quite understood whether the current British government is actually your government when it comes to the vote. Herr Dartmus, Ihre Antwort. And your answer. I think that's two questions. In fact, if you don't mind, I'll just answer one. Uh, in this debate, we're discussing trade, not climate change. And this is a serious point that I'm making. It is simply that you shouldn't tack on you shouldn't tack on irrelevant things about climate change and, for that matter, other irrelevant things with your considerable political expertise onto basic, what should be basic, plain vanilla trade agreements. If you do that, it will be costly to the peoples of Europe who you claim to represent.